evening all. <clears throat> uh, just wanted to do a uh, stash update. Um, this one will be very, very quick because so far uh, over the past two months I've only purchased two kits which is really good. It's, uh, as I mentioned before I've been trying to buy less and less kits because like most of you I have more than I can build and in actual fact these two kits one of them I ordered a couple of months ago and the other one I actually ordered it uh, about a year and a half ago it was a pre-order and the release date kept getting pushed back and pushed back so so the first one that I'll show you is this one it's the vinyl kit of a uh, female predator um, I mentioned on Facebook a while back uh, I could find this kit on eBay and on a few websites it's a recast or it's from Thailand but I could never find anybody who would ship to Canada I'm, I'm assuming they were all the same person just different sites and stuff but um, they would ship pretty much everywhere in the world except for Canada I'm assuming because the shipping costs here are so high uh, they used to ship to Canada um, but unfortunately I didn't buy this kit uh, yesterday I just came back from Texas uh, I was down there for a week for work so I knew uh, right after Christmas around this time that I would have to go to Texas so I had my uh, friend down there order this kit for me and I picked it up when I was in Houston the other day so just show you uh, let me see here that's yeah, a little bit better but uh, really pleased with the with the mold and everything on it. it's quite good that's quite nice uh, like I said I've been wanting this kit now for a really long time but I was never able to get it here um, I'm thinking after I get the predator or get the Terminator skull done, that I may, I may get started on this one. Perhaps, uh, if you look in some of Chris Cortell's videos, Classic Plastic 101, you can see this same kit in the background on Chris's shelf. Um, as always, Chris did an incredible job on it. <coughs> sure, mine will look nowhere as good. And the last one I bought is this. Uh, BMW M6, it's the GT3 from uh, Platts Models, it's an Asian company, Japanese I think. <coughs> uh, this is the kit I ordered, I think I ordered it in probably July or August 2016. It was originally supposed to be released in September 2016. September would come, they would change the release date to October, October would come, they'd change it to November, on and on and on and on. So it finally just got released um, a couple of months ago. So finally showed up here a few weeks ago. So really, really nice kit uh, inside as with most of the Asian kits. It looks very crisp, really nice, fine, fine detail, very fine parts. Uh, I've never built a... Platts model before, uh, and as you can probably tell by my channel logo, uh, big BMW fan. So yeah, it's a really nice kit. Looking forward to getting going on that. And that's it. Those are the only two kits I've bought since probably January. And like I said, <coughs> I ordered those, particularly BMW, quite a long while ago. So. Um, so anyways guys, that's about it. Uh, as always, uh, thanks for watching and uh, hope you stay tuned for the next video.